Hi there, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content process and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is Enterprise Search, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Access and Use Knowledge Domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we will explore information correlation and comparison techniques, including the thesaurus, semantic networks of defined terms, semantic feature extraction and comparison, and hash codes. A big part of enabling access and use is reconciling the different vocabularies used by different repositories, so any given search returns all the salient results, not just those that happen to use the same term the searcher did. Two common tools for achieving this correlation are the thesaurus and the semantic network. While relatively straightforward in theory, they likely will cause you consternation in practice because the choices you'll have to make seemingly will be without end. A thesaurus is a file that manages and tracks the definition of words and phrases and their relationships to one another in a hierarchical fashion. A thesaurus ranges far beyond the simple antonyms and synonyms that we learned about in school, although that certainly is a part of it. Also included are comparisons like equal to and related to and opposite of, and they're critical to ensuring a correlation can be made between the taxonomies and metadata of every repository, business unit, or functional group touched by the information solution. Take, for example, the word lettuce, which also could be called greens, or coriander, which is related to cilantro, coriander being the seed while cilantro is the leaf. Though not necessarily direct synonyms, they do have a relationship that could be important to facilitating access to and use of that information, so they therefore must be mapped one to the other. Semantic networks are functionally similar to thesauri but operate on a higher conceptual plane. Continuing with our salad example, a semantic network-based system would understand that content about mesclun greens, endive, and radicio has something in common with content about lettuce, and it would use a metadata-based infrastructure to unlock these particular secrets. Here in this diagram is an example that relates the various terms having to do with an electric lamp, connecting terms like power and heat to illumination. Semantics are also used as one way, along with structural comparison, to identify and separate identical documents and unique ones, so the dupes can be weeded out of search results and ultimately from the enterprise's information infrastructure. Semantic feature extraction and comparison is based on the notion that objects consist of certain features that we use semantics to describe. For example, a robin has wings, feathers, a beak, and a red breast. The existence of a sufficient number of these terms allows us to decide what the object is. If two or more objects share a sufficient number of these terms, then they're deemed to be the same thing. In the context of documents and information, success here presupposes an agreed-upon taxonomy and mapping structure to support the comparison. And this often is the hardest part. Structural comparisons can use hash codes to determine whether documents are multiple instances of the same one or not. Without getting into the mathematical details, a hash code is an arithmetic representation of a document's digital content. If the values of two documents calculate out to be different, then the documents are guaranteed to be different. But if the values calculate out to be the same, they're not guaranteed to be the same, although there is a high likelihood that they may be. In those cases, you pays your money and you takes your chances, as they say, and then you apply something else, semantic analysis, or simply blunt human force. To figure it out. This module has taken us on a tour of information correlation and comparison techniques, which include thesauri, semantic networks of defined terms, semantic feature extraction and comparison, and hash codes.
Next, you may wish to review the section on business intelligence. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.